My name is Jamie Andrews, and today we are going to take a look at the Sayros Z70 and point out some differences with it and its close cousin, the Sayros 10R. Now, obviously, the Sayros Z70 has the robotic arm that comes up on top, and uh, the 10R is missing that. Uh, so that is one major difference there. However, this is actually the reason for most of the other changes on the robot, because they had to add this arm in. That means they had to make sacrifices and remove space from other places. So uh, we're going to show you right now where they made the biggest sacrifice by putting this arm in. And that's under the lid here. We see a rather small dustbin, especially compared to the one that we found in the 10R. And this one isn't huge by any means. Uh, the 10R dustbin is quite a good bit bigger. And you can tell right away that this is where a lot of the room went for that robotic arm. Is this a problem? Well, we'll have to see. I haven't yet tested this robot out, but I will. And I'll have a few, full review out for the Z70 pretty soon. And I'll be sure to give you my opinion on whether or not this is too small. Uh, one other change is with the roller brush. And since we have the dustbin out, I'll go ahead and show you that the opening on the Z70 is a lot larger of an opening than the one on the 10R. Uh, and that is because the brush rollers are different. So let's go ahead and flip it over now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now on the bottom, they look nearly identical, at least as it relates to the mopping pads. They are uh, the same material. I can confirm they're basically the exact same. Same lifting height and everything. The wheels... Uh, the lifting ability is the exact same on the front. I did notice that the uh, Z70 does have one extra cliff sensor that's missing on the 10R for some reason, uh, but there is that change. The biggest change comes right here. This is a new brush roller that uh, Roborock is using that I haven't seen on another Roborock model before. Uh, and it is the sort of like the tri-cut system that Dreamy used on the uh, X30, X40 series, and even the L series. I actually have one of those right here. And as you can see, the one uh, Dreamy uses, and of course this is an optional accessory that you have to purchase separate from Dreamy. Otherwise, you get all rubber roller brush inside their units. Uh, but this one has the haircutting, same haircutting system as in it that we're seeing that Roborock is using. Roborock's going with a little bit smaller of a diameter. That might just be because it is needing to save room, which is also why they did not go with the duo divide roller brush system that you see here in the Sayros 10R. Uh, so back to this tri-cut style system here. It looks to be nearly identical otherwise to the one found in the Dreamy models. It's a combination of rubber and bristles, just like the one on Dreamy. There's a little bit of an interesting design here in the middle. I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind that. Uh, and then here, it's sort of just missing. So it is an interesting design. The one from Dreamy is kind of uniform all the way around. I'm really curious to see how well this works. I will tell you the one from Dreamy uh, does really good at uh, not having hair wrapped around the roller. However, at times I do find hair needs to be cleaned off from the axles. And that's just not something that you have to deal with at all here. So stay tuned for my testing. Uh, we will certainly test this out and see if this is a good choice or a bad choice compared to the Duo Divide brush. Now, their object avoidance system is identical as far as I can tell. Uh, this should be Starsight 2.0. Uh, the first iteration was in the uh, QRevo Slim, and this 2.0 has a little bit better hardware and can detect more items. And uh, it did really well on the 10R, so I assume it should do just as well here as it's got a little bit of extra duty since it has to recognize objects really well and also see to pick them up. In addition to that, the Z70 also has a rear time of flight sensor back here in the back. Uh, my guess that is uh, make sure that it doesn't go under something as an extra safety precaution because uh, if it did, it could potentially break the arm off if the arm tried to come up while it was under something, or if it was going under something, it could potentially break the arm off. Now we still have the top lip bump sensor here. They have retained that. Same sensor we have over here on the 10R, 
But if you notice, the 10R, 10R does not have an upward sensor to tell if it's going under something. It just has this front clickable bump sensor. So uh, I would expect a little bit better performance from this one going under tight spaces. Both have the exact same flexi arm riser side brush, so I don't expect anything really different with that. And recently, Roborock has enabled this on carpet, so uh, that is a good thing, by the way, that you have the option to enable it. You may or may not want to. I personally do, and Roborock, thankfully, has released in a recent firmware the ability to turn this on on carpet. Well, that's a quick comparison of the robots, but what about the docks? Well, the docks themselves, they're identical. Uh, there is a little small gold stripe on the front of the Z70's dock. Other than that, everything else spec-wise, uh, they do appear to be nearly identical. Obviously, I'll still run it through the same test to see if the Z70 produces a little bit more hot water or if it's consistent with the 10R. Uh, so make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss that review. If there's anything you'd like to see or anything you'd like to know as it relates to these two robots, since they are very similar, go ahead and drop that comment down below, and I'll try to address it in the full review video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.